and welcome back to another weekly video. We are now in the month of April and guess what we are celebrating today? Easter! Yes, we are celebrating Easter. And for Easter, we celebrate that Jesus, he died, but he came back to life. And he died for us. And he came back for us so that we can be free and so that we can be Jesus' friend forever. Awesome job. Okay, so that means the question of the month is different from last week's. So our question of the month now is, who wants to be your friend forever? All right, so the answer to that question is Jesus wants to be our friend forever. All right, so who wants to be your friend forever? Yes, Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to do some movements, all right? Um, I'm going to go through a story, but as I go through the story, you're going to do some things just to kind of act out the story. So, let's see. So, for the one, the first thing we're going to do later on in the story is we're going to sit and we're going to pretend to eat. And then we're going to stand up and we're going to run in place. And then we're going to ball up on the floor and sit there. But then we're going to count to three and we're going to jump up in the air. And then we're going to cheer for Jesus. Now that may not make sense right now. But as I go through the story, it's going to be really fun. And we're going to act out what happened and why we celebrate Easter. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Get ready. All right, so our Bible story begins with Jesus eating with his friends, the disciples. Let's pretend to eat together. So let's sit and eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, while they ate, Jesus told his friends that he had to go away, but he was going to come back. Now, later, Jesus and his friends were in the garden. And some mean people came and took Jesus away. And Jesus' friends were so scared that they ran away. Now, everyone, all right, we're going to stand up and we're going to run a place. We're going to pretend to run away. Ready? And run, 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 run. All right, stop running. <laughs> so the mean people hurt Jesus so badly that he died. And Jesus' friends buried him in the tomb. All right, so now everyone get on the ground. And we're going to ball up on the floor like we were buried in the tomb. Awesome. Now, a big stone was rolled in front of the tomb so that no one can get in and then no one can get out. Jesus' friends were very sad. But now, when I count to three, all right, I want you guys to jump up with your hands in the air. Now listen for me to say three, okay? Now Jesus was buried in the tomb, but on the third day, Jesus came back. One, two, three. Jesus is back. He's alive and he's out of the tomb. Awesome job. Jesus is alive. All right. Now, Jesus' friends were so happy that Jesus was alive. So let's cheer for Jesus because we're happy that Jesus is alive. Ready? Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Yay. Awesome job, guys. And that is why we celebrate Easter. Because Jesus died, but he's alive. All right? Thank you guys so much for doing this with me. And I hope you guys come back next week. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance. He's the reason my feet are moving. He's the reason. I'm gonna lift my hands and clap, clap, clap to the sound. Jump, yeah. jump up and down. Spin, spin, spin all around. I'm singing it out. One, two, three, four. Jesus is the very best friend, the very best friend I know. Yeah. Jesus is the very best friend. 
He's the reason that my feet are moving. He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap, yeah. clap to the sound. Jump, yeah. jump up and down. Let's go. Spin, spin, spin all around. I'm singing it out. One, two, three, four. Jesus is the very best friend. The very best. to see you today. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a kite. Look at all these colors. What color do you see? That's right, it's red, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. I love it. I flew it outside with my dad yesterday. It was such a beautiful and sunny day with just a little wind. So my dad said, Hey Zoe, it's a perfect day to go to the park and fly a kite. And I said, let's do it. So there we were flying the kite when suddenly the wind started getting stronger and stronger and my kite went higher and higher. I thought it had thrown away. But then my dad told me to pull on the string. And when I did, my kite came back. My kite went way, way, way up and up and up and then came back. What a great day. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Flying a kite, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yep, I sure am. My kite went way, way up into the clouds, and then I pulled the string, and it came back. I was so happy. Your kite coming back to you is great. It's true. But I have an even better story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Happy Easter to you. Oh. Hi friends, happy Easter to you. I'm Justin the Mailman and I am so glad you're here. Today is a day for celebrating and I wanna tell you all about it. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Look, do you know what that is? A heart, that's right. Because the true story of Easter begins with God's love for us. 
Everybody hold your hands up way up high in the air. Hold them up high. Because the Bible teaches us God's love for us goes higher than the highest mountain, higher than a kite can fly. Now, stretch your hands out wide like this. Because God's love for us is bigger and wider than we can even hold. Now, put your hands down deep to the ground. Because God's love for us goes deeper than the deepest ocean. He loves us so much. God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. But first, something sad had to happen. One night, when Jesus was having dinner with his good, good friends, he told them he would have to go away, but he told them he would come back. After dinner, Jesus went to a garden to pray. While he was there, some angry people came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and he died. It was very sad. All of Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad face? Yes, they were so sad. They put Jesus' body in a tomb with a big stone in front of it. Three sad days went by. Can you count them with me? Day one. Day two. Day three. Look! On the third day, when some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus was not there. Then came the good news. Jesus came back, just like he said he would. Everyone was so happy. Can you show me your happy face? Yes, Jesus is alive. It was amazing, incredible. Do your happy celebration dance. <laughs> yes, Jesus is alive. We are celebrating today because it's Easter and Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Happy Easter. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus went away and came back, just like he said he would. Ho! Ho! Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Ho! Ho! Wow, that was such a great story! Jesus said he was going away, and he would come back! And he did! Jesus is alive, and he wants to be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey! It's windy outside. Time to go fly my kite. I'll see you next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18.